and welcome back to Live in the Legislature. I'm Kyle Kaloha Lindsay, your host for the Legislative Minority. Uh, joining us this week is Representative Val Okimoto. She's the state representative for House District 36, which uh, encompasses Mililani Malka, Mililani, and YPO Acres. Uh, Rep, good morning. Good morning, Kael. Thank you for having me again. Yeah, we just came back off of a, a good Memorial Day weekend. Beaches were open. How did how did your weekend go, and how did you celebrate? Well, thanks for asking. I wanted to just you know give a little moment of remembrance. I I, rec I recognize that this year Memorial Day was a lot different than it was last year. Last year there was a lot of um, ceremonies and moments to you know rem remember those. Um, in the military who have sacrificed their lives to the, protect our freedoms. And so this year, because of the COVID-19, we didn't have any of those ceremonies, not open to the public or, or the legislature. So I wanted to just take a moment and just thank the many men and women who have lost their lives to sacrificing for our freedoms, but also those who continue to serve. Um, yeah, so thank you. We did spend our, our time at home. As you can see, uh, <laughs> I have my Opihi again with me. Homeschooling has been fun. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's part of being a legislator slash mommy. Life never, you know, stops. The, the, regardless of COVID nineteen or school or anything, we, we continue on. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I wanted to transition to uh, something you hosted last week. You started to have a virtual town hall, and this was something I think uh, our staff had a little bit of a fanboy moment. But you had a. Can you talk about your <laughs> virtual your live talk story on Facebook? Yeah, you know, we did have, and you were part of the first one. We had mentioned the last time I was on live at the legit, we were going to try and do these virtual town hall meetings because of COVID 19. I haven't been able to schedule meetings. We had one scheduled for my community, but had to cancel it. So we had Representative um, Congressman Ed Case, as well as Representative Linda Coit, come on with me the last time talking about small business. Um, and this time, I really wanted to just kind, kind of connect again to the, the, the local everyday communities because I was able to have Kelly Boy de Lima from Capena come on with me. And it was it was a pleasure. You know, I really what I really wanted to share was just his aloha. He has just a positive outlook on life. And we talked a lot about, you know, the education system, but also how this COVID-19 has impacted his own small business, his, his the business of his and his um his group with his, his family and their band and so it was it was a good conversation and we we all were having you know fanboy moments because he it was like a live concert we would discuss things and he would play some live music took some of the requests one of them was yours and so thank you you know for joining in um yeah <laughs> how did you enjoy it how, what did you think oh i mean it's it's hard to beat uh especially i'm sure for you with the the rep okimoto remix of masese at the end that was <laughs> Hard to beat that. Hard to beat that. Yeah, we were lucky. He 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 indulged us and stayed on a few minutes past you know our scheduled hour and and did that. And I really wanted to just show. And I've said this before that you know in, here in Hawaii we have a special culture, a climate here that I think working together we are going to come out of this in a positive way. And that's what I wanted people to remember. This is hard. We're all struggling through you know dealing with COVID. But when I when I serve when we when we look at people like Kelly Boy de Lima who has you know seen up taking a positive outlook on this very optimistic and just sharing his his aloha spirit that's what i wanted people to remember and connect with yeah so thanks yeah, yeah it was a great way to stay connected during this time and uh we're ha speaking of that you know we've all adjusted to this this whole COVID situation so how did mililani high school had their graduation recently how did how did that work out yeah like you said so a lot of the schools and if you watch the news every night you'll see that it, schools across the the state and probably nationwide have adjusted to to the dealing with this covid-19 and doing things differently and here in Hawaii we know that high school graduation is that life changing moment you know you look forward to it and so you know, a big part of me feels for the class of 2020 because they're not going to get what has been traditions of um, ceremonies. And so, Milani High School, we did, they did have, uh, it's kind of like a drive-through, and they showed it um, on their YouTube channel. But a drive-through graduation, where all 600, there are 600, I think, 44 graduates, and I, I believe the number I heard was 632 actually came through and drove by. So the community. Shout off, you know, part of Mehiula and and cheered them on, and I was able to be there. It was a long uh, graduation because they wanted to recognize each student individually, but they would drive through the campus, 
in their cars. Everything was kept, social distance was kept. They were with their family. They come out, get their diploma, get a picture t- taken, and and then get jump back in the car and move on. So I thought the high school, considering it was the first time that they'd ever had to do this, did a really you know well a job well done to recognize these seniors. Talk for you, Jack Morgan. <laughs> and um, other schools have done the same thing. You know, other schools across the state. High schools, even the elementary schools have done a lot. And I've been able to participate and continue to participate with that throughout the my district. That's excellent. And, um, and we're still uncertain about, you, of course, you're a former teacher, and we're still uncertain about what's going to go on next year, correct? Yeah. And, you know, that's something I, I, I'm a former teacher. And as you can see, I have my young kids still at home. And so it's still uncertain what's happening <laughs> with the school system and I've asked I've reached out to the principals even the principals have um been in there they're just dealing with whatever news they get so they're working through finishing this school year and trying to make it the best for the students like right after this I have to go to a web class with my seven-year-old that's with me right now but they're they're still preparing for this up- upcoming school year and in my district Milanani Middle School is a multi-track school so while we're building this building to end that you know they're trying to build a new classroom building um we still do my my older girl is scheduled to go back in a few weeks and we're not sure we're uncertain and I, I know the DOE is working hard and I continue to try and communicate with them to get updates on what they're doing but everybody is trying to adjust and and be flexible but you know I'm trying to be understanding and Hopefully other parents will do the same because I know that they're doing their best. Absolutely. absolutely. We have a couple of minutes left. Um, do you have any upcoming events? I know that we just uh, uh, recessed the legislature for until sometime in June, but uh, what are you going to be doing for your community coming up within the next few weeks? Yeah, months? I, wanted to, I wanted to quickly, you know, like you said, we mentioned, you mentioned the recess. So we had a recess back in March. We came back and like Representative Bellotti mentioned in her clip earlier that we had as a legislature passed three um, of the big budget bills. And so that was, you know, a profound thing. We're all trying to work together, even though I, the bills aren't perfect. I know that we're trying to work together to make it so that we can get our economy booming again, or at least back up again. But for my for my district, in between going to the legislature, because we're, we're scheduled to go back in June, I am still committed to supporting, especially the schools at this time. So I, I am right now, actually, after this, I have my web class with my daughter, but also um, supporting the elementary schools where they're doing their their fifth grade, um, either virtually they're doing their award ceremonies or I go to the school itself and I support them there. But also I'm still going to try and plan virtual um, town hall meetings or talk stories. So I encourage everybody, if you know, you know, if you want to see what's going on in Milanani, check me out on um, my social media at Valo Kimoto. Um, You can also email me at my capital email, okimoto at capital.hawaii.gov. That's the best way to keep in touch with um, all of the events that we're having. Absolutely. Rep Okimoto and her OP, thank you for joining (laughs) us this morning. Uh, Enjoy your virtual class, and uh, we'll see you on next time. Thank you. Thanks for having me again. Thank you. Aloha. Aloha. doing we have to go i'm gonna be late for work it's tuesday morning i gotta record live at the legislature on alelo senate and house leadership discussing what's happening at the state capitol so just watch it on the news tonight come on let's go hey this is like getting the news before it's news if only i could get this remote to work there can we go now no dvr no problem watch wednesday evenings at 7 p.m on channel 49